Hi there, family. Joseph's Sack of Grain is a weekly devotion for God's people by Pastor Joey Govender. When there was a famine, Joseph provided grain for his family and the masses around him. The grain sustained them. The Word of God is your grain and is vital for your spiritual growth, sustenance, and success. Here's today's edition of Joseph's Sack of Grain. Hey there, everybody. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. And I pray that the Lord will bless you this morning as we share in this time of devotion together. But I want you to know there's a lot of praying going on. People are praying everywhere, having times of fasting and prayer and all the rest of it. Praise the Lord. Something's going to happen. God will move. The heavens will shift because prayer is very effective. Don't worry about who's praying and how they're praying. Just as long as God gets the glory and we praise God for that. So today I'm going to read to you from Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse number three. It says, call to me and I will answer you. Beautiful words. Call to me. I will answer you. God speaking and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. That's a beautiful text for you today at the beginning of this year. The word is call. That's what God says. It means to call. It means to declare, to summon, to invite, to read, to be called, to be invoked, or to be named. What you're doing is you're calling upon God this morning. So call. He is ready. Call unto me, God says. Don't ask people. Don't look to people. Don't look to anybody else, but look to me. That's what God says. He says, call to me. Call to me me. And you must learn that you have to focus on God. So during this time, you call to him, the almighty God. And God says, when you call to me, I will answer you. Isn't that so beautiful? The assurance is that God will give us some answers. And God answers by doing things. And he says to us, listen, I'm going to answer you when you call to me. And he says, I'll show you great things. God's going to do great things in your life. What are the great things you want? When you call, expect God to do that. And the Bible says he says also that he'll give us and do mighty things. I like that. Great things. Look at the description. Mighty things. And the Bible says also, he says to us, things that you do not know about. He says, things that you've never heard about or seen. I love that. I know that God will do the impossible. Unknown things will happen to us. I believe that in the name of Jesus. My beloved, this is the word of the almighty God. It's not from some church. It's not some from some pastor. It's not from anywhere else. But I want you to know it's from the almighty God. And God says, call to me. I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Great things, mighty things, unknown things. But here's the punchline. He says, I will show you. Hallelujah. I praise God for that. God says, I will show you. You know what he says? What I do will be evidenced in your life. What I do will be seen by others. It will be experienced in your life. You live it. You'll enjoy it. It's not going to be a secret anymore. It's not going to be a private blessing. But the way that God will bless you is that he'll show it to you, reveal it to you, express it in your life. You will experience it and the people around you will see that God has blessed you and that God will bless you. I'm so thrilled this morning. I wish you well if you're praying. I wish you well if you're fasting. I wish you well. Go and attend the house of the Lord and do that. All you have to do is depend on God. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. I'm going to talk to you again shortly. Have a great day.